damn it. Last year they had like the, the Paul players don't Phoenix buy burger or something like that. Man, these guys don't appreciate it enough. No, they don't. Damn, we, we us Americans are going to have to order like triple the amount of food just to support this place. That should be easy enough, right? Yeah, it's like a normal serving for us. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, Illusion Cherry Berry Mango going up against MVP Pickles. DHE Pecos. Jin versus Geese. So Pickles is still sticking with Geese even after the changes from Season 3, right? Yeah. And you know, he, I, I feel like, yeah, Geese is different now. But it's uh, he's still able to explode if he needs to, especially towards the end of the rounds. So the thing is, he he just has to conserve his meter of, 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 like much more. He has to be more careful about the usage. Yeah, you just have to be picky about the timing, right? Yeah. And you know, Geese, where he shines in, I feel like he's always shined, is when he has rage. Um, the adjustment to his uh, deadly neo rave thing is his his uh, secondary or his other rage art. Right. The last hit does so much damage. I think packs a, a punch. Getting bopped at the moment, though. Cherry Berry here looking to take it. Yeah, Cherry Berry Mango has always been a very clean player. He's always been very good with execution and really breaking down his opponents. But there's this thing about him, and it's happened against some of the best. And, you know, this is probably why you've seen that Cherry Berry Mango hasn't really won a tournament yet, is he chokes a lot. <laughs> and uh, maybe that's the mean word, but he doesn't close out the matches. Uh, probably as well as he'd want to. He'd falter under pressure. And I think that's where he's looking to improve, at least as a player, is to have a bit more consistent of his best play. Nice. That's a that's a good move at the wall now, too. The wall bounce. So fast. Uh, the bow punches. Yeah, the double chamber. Meridian Boom. destruction or something like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a shotgun bang. What up with that thing? Nah, he had the knee, but he didn't believe in it. <laughs> I, he didn't want to. Uh, oh, hey, that all worked out. Hit, hey, that, that worked out. So tied up on rounds. Pecos uh, doing some work here. Seems like Chickering's been having a little bit more trouble with Geese recently as well. Seeing a lot more gin from him. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny too because, uh, you know, him and Pecos were probably two of the most known Geese players, at least uh, in Japan along with Gunta. But uh, a lot of them have been kind of wavering, at least in using them, except for Pecos. But Chikorin did use uh, a lot of geese in the recent fight on Tuesday. Oh, he had the hit, but he didn't finish the plate. Oh, man. And Pecos doing his best cherry berry mango impression right now. Look at that combo. And look at this. Ouch. What's he going to do? Nice duck. duck. Oh, but he doesn't get the punish in time. Nice punish with the double chamber. Ugh. Back one, two, closing it out. Okay. I like what I'm seeing. So I haven't seen Chikorin at all today. Is he here? Uh, maybe he's playing tomorrow? I, I know he's in the tournament. Cherry Berry looking to go to the wall. Yeah, he's going to get the Savage Sword. Let's see what else damage he's going to be able to get here. Savage Sword. I remember coming up with that name. What do you call the other one? I, I never look at the move list. I probably should more, but I call it the Savage Axe, the one that chops downwards. Ah, the one that came in later, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the four break move. I don't remember. We're going to have to look up these move lists. How it's, does We need to have a session. How does Michael Murray come up with these move names? Because they're not literal translations no. uh, either. First you have a drink. <laughs> then you, you have, have another one. <laughs> it's actually crazy because uh, you revamped. Uh, I remember a lot of the moves in the they game. They sucked, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say they sucked. They, they sucked, it, dude. They weren't um, in theme. Like You changed all of uh, Eddie's moves to be Portuguese-based, actually after the martial arts. And um, a lot of them before were like moves like hot rewind or hot plate special stuff like that. Bikini split. Something yeah, like I that. Uh, I actually uh, still use those old names. J A, you know who you are, man. Those names, those names sucked ass. I'll say it, right? So I fixed them. Um, and it was always at a crazy time, like right before the master up, you know, or, or just like in a crazy time like that. They always hit me with, oh, here's like 500 moves to come up with new names for. Have fun. So that, no wonder you hated the new characters. <laughs> a guy, Ikero, uh, used to use a law player. He used to do the Japanese names, and uh, they were really good. And he was uh, really good at finding these kind of elements of the moves that translated well. But Oh, he, he, he must have been on some other stuff then. But he, they never he, translated well into English, so I always had to redo everything, you know? Huh. It's and then, like uh, naming Pokemon. Who wants to do that? That's tough. <laughs> It's always looking at the animation and seeing if it looks like a certain weapon or, or certain something from the character's lore. It's a lot of time actually goes into the move names. Although I don't use them when I'm commentating, right? 
Okay, let's see. One round. One uh, match here for Cherry Bear Mango. Yeah, it's interesting too because Pecos uh, obviously picked uh, open stage here. Oh my God! What? Yeah. I love that combo. Me too. And Cherry Bear Mango Ouch. always lands that combo. I, I'm pretty decent at that one too. You have to have the the electric note, right? Yeah, you got to have it down. You got to be ready to do it. All right, he gets the follow up here. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, I don't think that's what he wanted, but. Still able to get some some damage. Peckles really having to rely on his sidestep and his. Oh man, look at the parry. I know, right? You can't be predictable. All right, he does have one meter now, which this could give him access to more potential damage, more pressure tools. Let's see if he's able to utilize it here in the matchup. He does have the life lead, so he's kind of standing back, and waiting for an opening. Yeah. Again, he's just sidestepping to the right, looking for this opportunity, trying to bait something out, and that's a great whiff punish there. Did not want to use the meter, wanted to save it still, especially Good choice. Uh, it being so hard to you know come by nowadays. You know, he doesn't build the same meter when he's, once he's getting hit this time. Being more thrifty with it. More handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. Earn your keep. All right, doesn't fall for it. Doesn't duck. What do you think of this gen, though? You remember he used to be like half Mishima, half Kazumi, uh, Kazama back in the Tekken 3 days. I mean, he's like a, a different type of Mishima. He used to be like a hybrid, right? Yeah. But I, th other than the Can Can kicks, I don't really see any 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 Kazuma stuff left in him. Not anymore, right? Not anymore. Give him a give him Oscar's back three. That'll look weird. <laughs> Oh, that's going to hurt. Out of range, though, and he wasted the resource uh, there for his comeback. But that sucks. And look at that. from behind. Pecos is looking to tie it up here. Okay. Solid combo. Oh, here it is. That one you would lose an arm right about now, probably. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, luckily, if it was final round, maybe. <laughs> but it's potential final round. Three so. meters here for Geese, though, so he's in a good place. Yeah, if he actually lands a hit here, but he not, might not get the chance. Might have to wait till next round. But he, dude, if he does the rage art too, it, he, he, I was gonna I say he not. can kill. He can kill. <laughs> not today. Not today, my good man. And the fact that he doesn't have the wall here is gonna make it a little bit tough too. But now he should be able to at least freely use some of this meter. So let's see how he's gonna utilize it. It's a good way to to go into round three, though. Oh yeah, this is the best situation for him. It's like, you want to have meter. So now he has three cancels of his back three in case he needs to do it. Or he has a super if he wants to be able to close it out. I feel like he's not gonna wait. He's gonna wait a little bit more until he's closer to a rage at least to explode. But now he's gonna have to use it. Use it or lose it. Good pick up from Cherry and Mango. Heck goes down to almost 30%. Oh, this is gonna be big. Yowzers. Right? Yowzers. No, uh, he doesn't have rage uh, yet, so it's uh, going to hurt. Uh, uh. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, oh man. my he's God. Dead. Oh, my God. Explode all over him. That was good. He looks unfazed. He's like, yeah, it's geese. Plus, the stage <laughs> change really ended up working out in his favor. He was able to get that whiff punish and uh, confirm into the super, which is really what he wanted. That's what he was saving up the moment or is saving up the, the meter for. We kind of mentioned or touched upon it, at least when we started the set, is using the meter towards the end is really going to be what's important, is to be able to utilize that. Do you have your own uh, emote, Markman? Do I have my own emote? Yeah. Uh, not, not on Eris's channel or anything like that. <laughs> I have one on my own channel. <laughs> You have a uh, that you have that one from uh, when you and Harada first unveiled that "Don't Ask Me for Shit" shirt. That's uh, Eris's channel, I believe, right? Yes. And Okubo has one too. <laughs> He's got a pretty decent one. I think I'm gonna borrow uh, Okubo for uh, emote on my channel. Nice. Any he, ideas? He does make a really it. interesting face. <laughs> I'll tell you that. He's a cool dude, man. We get along pretty well. Uh, 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 uh. Nice. They're looking, getting the damage here. Now, because we're in a wall stage, it's obviously going to benefit both of these characters. Probably Jin a little bit more, just because it's a bit easier for him to be able to convert into combos, especially with the wall carry that he has. Oh, doesn't get it. Too deep. Too deep. That right leg was too deep in his butt. Okay. Having another opportunity. Let's see what he does.
And Pecos now pulling out into the lead here. Nice. Still, you know, doing a great job. What we're seeing a lot from Pecos is he'll throw out a poke and then he'll start sidestepping to the right to right to create an opportunity. Waiting for a response, right? Yeah. And the thing is, you know, things, certain moves will be able to catch him, but Cherry Berry Mango is going to have to commit to him, and it puts him often into a situation where, oh like my that, God, right like there. that. <laughs> See, he's going to have to commit, and then it gives him an opportunity to really capitalize on the damage. And look at that, Pecos. Ouch. Able to really, really capitalize there. One round away from taking this, right? Yeah. It's looking really good for at least the situation that he's been put in right now. Let's see if he's able to make a comeback here. And now pressuring, he's at the corner too. This is where he's going to have to be careful. Pecos is now picking apart his food. He gets the power crush and looking to end it right here. One more hit should do it. It's a, really just a forward one. Caught him. That's it. Pecos, man. Like I said, I don't know, man. I didn't want to jinx him or anything, but man, this Cherry Berry Mango guy, he's, he's having trouble closing out matches. Just like he was you looking said, really right? good early on. He had